Dave, why do I have a sudden loss of pressure in water at my faucet? Well, the number one issue is going to be at your aerator. Now, what you want to do to determine that is to go ahead and start off with the cold side first. And as you can see, definitely have low pressure. And then you go to your hot side. And as you can see, we've got the same amount of restriction. So what we want to go ahead and do is start off with removing the aerator. So I like to go ahead and use a small pair of channel locks. If you want to use a rag to protect it or try the righty tighty lefty loosey rule here. In this case, we're going to do the lefty loosey. All you need to do is take your hand and look at that. That's the cause there. So go ahead and remove the washer out of the way, place it to the side, and then take your cold. As you can see, we're already 50% better there. Let's turn on the hot. I like to let it bleed through a little bit to make sure we're getting sediment from the bottom of the spout all the way through. You can also turn on and off the fixture as well. That sometimes loosens the, the rest of the remaining debris at the bottom there to make sure that we get it all out. Once we do that, we could take a little bit of water, you just take your finger and remove the residual sediment that's stuck on the screen here of the aerator. Once it's clean, make sure you put your washer right back to where it's supposed to be. Now we're going to follow the righty tidy rule. Sometimes you could just hand tighten it depending on the washer. We'll go ahead and give it a quick little snug. Again, you want to make sure you put a rag or something to cover the aerator so you don't scratch it. So let's go ahead and check it once we've cleaned everything. Much better, right? Well, there you go. Hopefully I was able to help you out on why suddenly is your sink clogged up or low pressure.